Um, okay, where, where do I sit? Uh, just, just there, just in, in the glove. It has been over nine months since Britain was declared recovering from the day the dead walked, and the Great British Undead Reintegration Programme is well underway. Dr John Warby was one of the leading experts in the Great British Undead Reintegration Programme. Well, The Great Burt was a collaboration of some of Britain's greatest minds. Philosophers, psychologists, biologists, chemists, Stephen Fry. But just why did Britain opt for a peaceful solution to the undead crisis? It all came down to human rights. Initially the government reacted the same way all governments do, with tanks and guns and bullets and all that did was annoy the damn liberals. But uh, nobody was in disagreement. The undead were a threat. What became obvious to us was that the living impaired had quite a strong backing. Uh, nobody liked seeing their relatives get blown to pieces by a squaddy, whether they were dead or not. No, charities started appearing. So instead we, uh, we did what all cultures <laughs> and rock stars do in times of crisis, and we turned to drugs. After months of research we uh, found the solution in the form of Neutrocannabidine, or as it's uh, widely known as Placidity, the wonder drug, and um, I created it. Yeah, Placidity changed my life. Don't, don't you mean it uh, changed your death? <laughs> Due to the rotting in his brain, Hector is unable to recall anything of his previous life. Yeah, the great burp, they gave us these picture frames for to put our family in, family pictures in, when they moved us into these housing areas. But I didn't have a photo, so I just kind of put in here what they found in my pockets when they rehabilitated me. Oh my god, that's- Hector fears he may have eaten his family. If this is the case, he'll never be able to find any details of his previous life. When they found me, they gave me a wallet that they said they found on one of the bodies in the den that I made for myself. And the photos in it, I deep down believe, are my family. When the relocation programme began, it was the responsibility of the Great Burp to allocate names to all of the undead that uh, couldn't remember their own. They used a random computer generator uh, loaded with famous names of the day and um, I think it worked very well indeed. Neutro cannabidine neutralises an undead citizen's desire to feast on the flesh of other humans. This allows them to work their way back into society. Yeah, my um, day job is to work for his health Spa. They um, told me to get a leaflet, which I tried to do, so you know what I can get at the moment. But the only issue I get is that, not that it looks like other people, but it's the fact that I forget sometimes. You, you, you forget where you are? They tell me it's, it's to do with the rotting to my brain, you know. I, I, I just think I'm a bit forgetful me. Yeah, that can be a problem due to the fact that I have to pay for these leaflets. One thing we're still working on is getting the undead. Human Rights Act pushed through. Um, currently the only human right they have is, uh, is to live, which I think is very generous. And meat rations, of course. <laughs> Since the rehabilitation programme began, livestock farming has become one of the most profitable industries in Britain. I've been feeding, feeding eight pigs for six, six months, out, 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 out them zombies, and they've been now look back since. Just another request I've been getting, I've been trying to make super animal. Test and size first. My old dog refused to bring my first key. I don't know where he suddenly comes so frizzy like he does. I don't know. What do you say to the rumours that farmers like yourself started the undead outbreak to boost meat sales? The Great Burp is doing wonderful things. I know of a young girl down in the village, no older than, than this cat. She's a poor orphan zombie creature. And the Great Burp have found her a loving, dedicated family. Um, we, we actually interviewed this girl and uh, oh, right. didn't, didn't, didn't she eat her own parents? That's, oh, that's irrelevant. There's no proof that me or any other farmer are involved in the curse of these zombies. Or it's them sort of this organisation. There's some extremes about this Great Burp. For, for now, I'm thinking about going ahead with like a dance troupe I've been working with. Mm. Yeah, just all zombie dance troupe. We do it. 
great thriller. So, uh, so it's looking bright for Hector. Yeah, it's looking bright. 